All right, this is our only video on identifying the distribution of data. And so you're going to be learning some new vocabulary as it relates to uh, data distribution today. Um, specifically, um, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute, but I want to show you something. Um, the purpose of organizing data in, in tables and graphs is to make it easy for others to understand the data and recognize trends in the data. Graphs that are not organized neatly or are missing values can be misleading. So I want to ask you, um, which of these dot plots are misleading? And the bottom line is actually all three of them are. And I'm going to show you why. If you look at this dot plot, you can see they skipped the seven and the eight, which caused us to not to see this important gap in the data. So when we make our graphs, we've got to make sure we follow the guidelines for making the graphs to make sure that the uh, information we want to present is clearly seen. This one you could see is just a mess. The, the students making the dots everywhere. This is a square or a rectangle. It's just a big old mess. So even though the data is graphed, I don't know if this is on the eight or the nine. This is not a neat data. Now this student, they did a pretty good job with their columns and making their dots the same size, but how they spread them out is not good. This two looks like it's taller than the one when actually there are five dots here and four here. So the point I'm making here is when we make graphs, in order for them to uh, convey what we want, we have to make sure that we're making them neatly. Um, so as we talk today about um, the different ways the data is distributed, um, it matters that you've got a graph that's easy to read. So these are the, the terms we're gonna be talking about today, flat or uniform data, symmetric data, and skewed data. Now I think flat you should pretty much understand. So when I look at this data, this data is called flat data or uniform data because everything's the same. Think about a, a team, they all wear uniforms so that they all look the same. Uniform data or flat data is data where there isn't variation. All right. Um, now we're going to talk about symmetrical data, data. And so I want to focus on the word symmetry because you probably are familiar with that word from fourth grade. And we know that line symmetry is when you can draw a line right down the middle of something and it's the same on both sides. And you could draw it right down the middle that way and it's, it's the same as well. Now, even though that letter B, the way I made it, is not exactly symmetrical, um, it is symmetric. It's pretty much the same on both. And there is a slight difference to the, the definition of symmetrical and symmetric. We're going to be using the word symmetric. Now, this has no line symmetry. No matter where you draw a line, it's not going to look the same on both sides. And so that's where we're going to get the, the term symmetric. So here's an example of data that is symmetric. You can see I can draw that, that line right down the middle and it is the same on the left as it is on the right. So that data is symmetric and should be pretty easy for us to identify. The term I'm more worried about is the word skewed. When you talk about something being a skew or skewed, it means it has a slanted direction or position. So you can see that this picture frame is a skew. If that was in my house, I'd correct that right away. That would make me very frustrated. So um, skewed means it's slanted in a direction or position. So here's the book's definitions of symmetric and skewed distributions. So a data that's skewed to the left, you can see that the majority of the data is here on, on the right, and then it, it has a tail that goes off to the left. I'm gonna actually kind of make it like a, an arrow. And it's almost like if you dropped a marble, it would roll down the steps um, versus falling off the, the landing. Um, and so that data is considered skewed left. Most of the data is on the right, and then it gradually decreases down to the left. This data is very symmetric. You can see uh, it's gonna, that marble is going to drop the same in both directions. And then this data is skewed right. That marble would fall to the right. So again, some people can mix up the skewed because they think well, where the data is is the direction they should say, but it's actually where the data kind of crumbles off is where um, the direction would be. So here's a couple of examples. Here's a dot plot. So this data, if you look carefully, this data, most of the data is on the left, but the tail extends to the right. So this data is skewed right. And um, even though this is ex not exactly the same on both sides, okay, um, it's still pretty much the same. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna call that symmetric. Um, it's not very clear exactly which one's dropping off more than the other. So that will be symmetric data. 
Here's another dot plot. We're just going to keep alternating between some dot plots and histograms because they're both great for showing the shape of data. So you can see my tail extends to the left. That would definitely be skewed left. This dot plot at the top here, that's symmetric data. And this um, histogram, that data is skewed left. This dot plot is also skewed left. You can see the majority of the data is on the right, the tails to the left, and this one is skewed right. So um, I think it's important for you to realize, but you can see skewed data in or symmetric data in a dot plot or a histogram, but you can't do it in a bar graph. And the reason is bar graph shows data in categories, so it's not ordered. So you'll notice that I use the same data to make this graph as I did to make this graph. Okay, the same exact data to make both graphs. So this graph appears to be skewed right, and this graph appears to be skewed left, but it's the exact same data. The problem is, when you make a bar graph, the categories can kind of be in whatever order you want. It's not ordered like a histogram or a dot plot is. So you've got to be very, very careful not to identify data as being skewed or symmetric when dealing with a bar graph. So this frequency table shows the ages of people watching a historical movie in a theater. They want you to display the data in the histogram. Now, you don't need to worry about that. I've done it for you. But let's, um, let's just take a look at how that data looks now that it's organized. Um, you can see, I can see just you know, where the data clusters, and I can see that this data is pretty much symmetric, because although this is a little taller than this, this is a little taller than this, and this is a little taller than this, so it's pretty balanced with the majority of the data clustering in the middle there. Um, this data, as you can see, it's pretty close to symmetric, but I would still say skewed right. This one is flat, as you can see. This one would be skewed right. This one would be symmetric. All right, that one will be skewed right. And this one will be symmetric. So it's pretty easy to identify. Now, take a look at this one. That would also be symmetric, because even though it's not high in the middle, it's kind of low in the middle, it's still balanced. And that's what symmetric means. So here we go, the last question for this video. Um, the frequency table shows the years of service for the police officers of Jones County and Pine County. Display the data for each country in a hist or county in a histogram. You can see I've got both histograms there. And it wants to know the shape of each distribution. So you can see that this is skewed right. It's because most of the data is to the left. And this one is, I would say, pretty symmetric. Now, when you see this data is pretty symmetric, it means that the majority, or the cluster, is right in the middle, okay? Whereas with Jones County, the cluster is more to the left. And so that indicates that the, the, um, the force that is, that is more experienced would be Pine County. You can see that their, their data overall is more here, where they've got younger officers um, as their cluster um, for Jones County. All right, very good. That's the last uh, bit of our video on histograms. Thanks for sticking around till the end.